Okay, welcome to turret intro. This is the fifth map in chapter three. And this map is kind of similar among all skill levels because uh, at the end of the day, as you get down to it, most of the map is very simple. It's just a matter of shooting portals quickly and getting to the end. So the first thing you do is you jump past that turret. It will always die. It's coded to, it's scripted to die. So you don't have to worry about it. And then get here, shoot that portal, shoot here. I'm going to turn on no target because I'm going to be going very slow. Also, sometimes that can happen. Just be wary of that. Um, but you'll be doing this ideally fast enough that the turrets won't be able to catch you. So once you're here, shoot there, there, and then shoot there. And shoot under this turret and pop up out of the floor to the right. Shoot an orange portal there. Go through it. And then here you shoot a portal here. You can either shoot a portal under you to finish the map. Or you can shoot a portal on the wall, which is technically slower. I much prefer shooting on the wall because it allows for a lot more control over where you're going. So once you're out here, shoot on that wall and then under you and grab the cube. Once you're in this room, uh, if you're scared about dying, you can just knock over all of the turrets with your cube. Or what you can do is just shoot that portal, grab the cube, and just not even fling. And kill the turrets this way. Uh, let me turn off no target to kind of show what that would be like. Because obviously you're not allowed to use no target in a run. And then once there you can put the cube on the button. And you can either portal to the end or you can just go walk to the end. Doesn't matter too much. And at the ending here there's no dialogue. Just... Trigger this door as soon as possible. Uh, you'll want to hit this trigger. And then you're actually kind of going to want to stay here. You're not going to want to move too close to the door. Because that can mess up the transition trigger just a little bit. And lose you a little bit of... Sorry, lose you a little bit of time. So, a full run of that kind of safe strategy with shooting all of the, or with killing all the turrets in that room with the cube would look like this a quick thing to note is that if you have bets rider from wake up you'll be invincible so you literally don't need to worry about the turrets at all if i use a cheat command to give myself bets rider I can just put the cube on the button and not worry about the turrets because they're not going to hit me because I have Bets Rider. Now, actually, yeah, that kind of is the advanced route. It's just ignoring the turrets because you have Bets Rider. Um, let me demonstrate what that would look like in a full game run. But again, the advanced route here is just going real fast. Ignore the turrets. Um, there is one slight thing to note, is that if you don't have Bets Rider, uh, there is another kind of advanced route where you do that, which is enough to keep the turrets from killing you. But if you're doing that, then you might look into getting Bets Rider. In which case, you wouldn't have to deal with any of that. But that's up to you. Either way, turret intro. Pretty simple, other than the last room, and where, if you're not careful, you can die to the turrets. Alright, that's all.